I've already done my face and brows, so let's just jump right into the eyes. Starting off, you're going to want to put on an eye primer to keep your eye makeup lasting all day. Next, I'm just grabbing this warm caramely color from Makeup Geek called Creme Brulee with a fluffy brush and lightly putting that into my crease. I'm really taking my time with this, blending it upwards so that we have a very smoky eye. Go back and forth in windshield wiper motions to get your product into your crease. It'll make it really easy if you do use a fluffy brush. And then I take a smaller fluffy brush with the same color and put that onto my lower lash line. I go back and forth, I don't even look in a mirror, I just kind of feel where I'm going and go underneath the lower lash line to really smoke that area out. Here I'm taking my brush and joining the area between my lower lash line and my upper crease. Just grabbing a shade darker, this is Cork from MAC, still a caramely brown but a little bit darker. I'm smushing that into my crease using that smaller fluffy brush for more definition. I'm really taking my time with this, making sure that everything is blended together by going back with the first fluffy brush and blending it out. Then I'm using this color called Coco Bear from Makeup Geek with a small shader brush, and I'm just putting that all over the lid. This is a very matte, dark reddish brown color. I really like it all over the lid for a fall look. And I'm gonna go ahead and smush that into my crease as well. If you look here, I'm kind of blending it upwards. Then taking a combination of Cocoa Bear and Cork, I'm putting that into my crease to really marry the colors and make sure it's a flawless transition between the lid and the crease. I'm also putting that underneath the lower lash line to smoke that area out. I'm using a light shade underneath my eyebrow to highlight my brow bone and to clean up the look. I'm also quickly running that color into my inner corner then I'm going to be using a smudgy black eyeliner into my waterline as well as my tight line. It really finishes off the look if you take a small shader brush and blend out that eyeliner. Then I'm using my Mega Liner from Wet n Wild just to create a thick wing on my upper lash line. I do have a video on this if you wanted to check that out, it'll be in the description box down below. Next I'm using these Cream Shop Lashes and just popping those on using some tweezers and then applying some mascara. Next I'm using this sparkly eyeliner from e.l.f. It's kind of like a coppery color and I think it complements this look really well. I'm using that on the inner corner of my lower lash line and the inner corner of my upper lid. I think this really adds some nice interest to the look. Next I'm using the NYX Round Lipstick in Sierra and just doing a quick run over my lips with that to give a dark nude. I think it complements this look really well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below which video you'd like to see next. And thank you so much for watching.